Hey everyone, and I'm back here. I'm recapping BB Can 6 week 3. And you know what? It was a pretty interesting week. Uh, even for myself, you know, I actually um, I went and met all of Team Maddie. We went to uh, a local place. I guess it's where Maddie works here in Ottawa. And uh, I got to meet all of Team Maddie, the people running our Twitter and, and her supporters and everything. Uh, great, great, great people. So Team Bruno, all my family, everyone went down and met Team Maddie. They're amazing. Um, and it was fun. So I got to watch Wednesday night's episode with them. And then Thursday morning, I drove down to Toronto to go see the live eviction. Um, so I was there, um, you know, when this all went down. And uh, you know what? It was a pretty good week. So, um, you know, I didn't get to watch much feeds. I was very busy all week again. Um, so I am going to be going based off of the edited show. Um, so I am going to miss a lot. From what I understand, there is a lot more that was going on than what they showed on TV. Editing was huge this week. And I'll get into that a little bit as I get into the video. So that being said, let's get started. So here we are at the HOH competition. Everybody gets paired up. So you have all these different pairs. But one thing that doesn't make sense to me is they have an extra player. So Erica actually doesn't get picked to be on a team. So she gets immunity for the entire week. Now, I'm no expert here. But don't you think production would say, okay, why don't we do this competition maybe next week or maybe the week before where there was even numbers enough for everybody to play so nobody gets immunity? To me, that didn't really make too much sense to do it in a week when there was an odd number. Just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, um, so everybody gets paired up and they have to bring uh, fruits or whatever back and forth um, and put them in a, in a bin or something, whatever it is. Anyway, Hamza and Veronica get paired up. Veronica is crushing this competition. This girl is a beast. So they go and win HOH. So Veronica and Hamza win HOH. Veronica gives it to Hamza. He wants to see his fiance. And trust me, I've been there. I know what it's like when you miss your significant other at home. And it really, uh, it really does put a lot of weight on your shoulders. And it really does put a lot on your mind. So I feel for the guy. I definitely feel for him. He wants to see his fiance. Um, and you know what? Good for him. I'm glad he got to see her. And let's see how he runs his HOH week. So Hamza wins HOH and he wants to make a big move. He says nobody's safe. Everybody should be sweating. And he wants to take out a big target. Well, who's his target? Olivia. What are you doing, man? You got all these people to choose from and you want to take out Olivia? And you want to call that a big move? You know, it's just... I don't know, man. You know, the season and the editing on this show this year has just been horrendous. I don't, uh, I just, I feel like production's missing the mark big time. I feel, I really do. I feel like what's going on in the house and what they're showing on TV is just, I don't know. It, it, it's horrendous. So anyway, that being said, Hamza, uh, Hamza wants to take out Olivia. So we find out that Hamza makes a four-man alliance. Uh, I, I believe, I, I can't remember, I think it was Will... Hamza, Derek, and Jesse, I believe that was the four, whatever it is, he makes us deal with them, which was a solid group. You know, that group, if they stick together, can be really strong and they can do really well. I think they're socially set up well enough in the house to cover each other pretty well and to kind of deflect targets off of each other. It's a pretty good group. But what does Hamza go and do? He makes his nominations and then he puts up Jesse and he puts up Olivia. Now, I don't understand this move. I think he should have put up other targets. There's so many other people he could have chose um, that would have been a better move to position him going forward. I think Hams is just caught up in this TV, good TV and moves. The guy, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight here. I think his gameplay is horrendous, but as a personal as a person, he is the kind of guy I would click to and I would bond with very, very, very well. I, I honestly can see myself like Hams is my kind of guy. We'd get along and 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 I actually really want to meet the guy after I'm looking forward to hanging out and everything because I think he's a he's a great guy and I'd love to hang out with him and I really do feel we'd click. But I'm all my all the stuff I talk about is strictly in the game and how I see the game. And I just, listen, I get it. I see what he's doing. And and from what I understand with the feeds is Hamza was all over the place this week. Uh, from what I hear, he was pretty confused and lost and flipping back and forth. And the people that actually made the move to get Jesse out was William and Johnny. But I'll tell you something. And here we go back to editing. And editing this year is just... They're missing the mark. And they do it a lot. They do it most seasons. They miss the mark. They find their entertainer and they go with their story and they, they go with what they say. 
But in reality, the real players in there, the people that are making the moves, the shot callers and everything, they don't get any screen time. Johnny didn't get a single DR this week. Not, a, not one DR. And he ran the week. So it just goes to show you, the people making the moves never get the credit. It's the entertainers, the people in the diary room that are good in the diary room, that talk tough in the diary room, that want to be the entertainer. They get the DRs. They get the airtime. They get the credit, even when it's not deserved. So someone like Johnny, you know, Johnny deserved all the credit this week. Will deserved all the credit this week, and they get nothing. Whereas Hamza is all over the place, doesn't know what he's going to do. He's going back and forth. He's making a mess of his HOH, but he's talking hard in the diary room. And he's saying, oh, these kids aren't safe. And he's saying the right things in the diary room to get him the airtime and give him the credit when in reality he had nothing to do with it so it just it i just hate seeing that part of the show the production i i hate seeing that when there's so much more going on again i did not see the feeds myself this week but from talking to other alum and other you know people from the show and everything i got the gist of what was going on and uh every, you know everyone's pretty much on the same page that you know uh hams is just getting the golden edit and hey that's fine on him that's if that's what he's getting good for him it's fine but it's just a shame when the people that do deserve the credit don't get it uh and you know what when the show's over they're not going to get the credit of being these great players and someone like hamza might get that credit where well, you know it's not really deserved but anyway you know it's not a shot at him or anybody else i just i just i, I know i talk about editing a lot in these videos and it's just, it's something that really bothers me and a lot of players and a lot of people that watch the show. And it's too bad. It's too bad it has to be that way. So then we find out, and here is where editing comes in again. Hamza swears on his fiance and all these personal things that if he wins the veto, he's going to take Jesse off the block. Do you think the show was going to show that? Nope. They want to save Hamza. They want to make him look good. They want to save him by not letting the, the crowd see that he says these things. So it's like it second never happened. Well, then Jesse gets, uh, then we're at the veto ceremony and Hamza doesn't use the veto. So Jesse, which I love the fact that he did this. Jesse stands up and says, hey, you know what? Hamza, you told me and you swore on some very personal things that if you won that veto, you'd put it around my neck. It just goes to show that your word means nothing in here. So I want everybody around to see that your word means nothing in here. So if he's promising you this and he's promising you that, he promised me this and look, he went right back on his word. So it was very good for Jesse to do that. I mean, maybe it's not going to save his game, but going forward, people will say, hey, we can't trust this guy. He swore on his fiance and this and that, and he just went right back on his word. So his word means nothing. So by Jesse doing that, it really destroys all credibility that Hamza has because in that game, all you have is your word. Your word is literally currency. And once your word means nothing, your currency means nothing. Your stock crashes so that's the thing if you keep showing your word you keep giving your word and you keep pulling through people will believe you when you say hey i got you and if i see if i do this i'll save you if i win this i'll save you i won't nominate you it means something but if you keep telling everybody i'll take you off the block i won't nominate you i won't do this and you just go back on everything you say nobody's gonna believe you so that's very very good on jesse's part um to call him out you know i think it was a great great move uh, when Jesse says, hey, you told me you were going to do this, blah, 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 and you didn't do it. Guys, take a look. This guy's word means nothing. And I think it really bothered Hamza for sure. So uh, so uh, Hamza does win the veto, doesn't use it on Jesse. And, uh, you know, uh, good for Jesse for doing that. I really, you know, I really respected all the moves Jesse did this week with all his speeches and, and everything he did. It really showed he started to play. The only problem with, with that is I think he started to play a little bit too late. Um, you know, I did actually get to hang out with Jesse, um, Friday, Saturday, the guy's amazing. The, the guy is actually very humble. He's, uh, you know, uh, just a great guy. He's a normal guy. Doesn't have a big ego. Uh, very easy to talk to cool guy. I really, really, really enjoyed uh, spending time with him, talking to him and just getting to know him, you know, and, uh, great, great guy. So now Jesse's playing the game. Jesse's like, all right, I'm on the block. The veto's not used. This is it. I have to start making moves. And you know what? I really liked the way he stepped up and started, you know, playing the game. It was a little late. He, you know, he did start a little late. But, you know, to his defense, I don't think he really had to play too hard in the first few weeks. He was socially set up, like, very, very well. And, you know, it did, not too many people really would go after him. Or if they did, he should have had the numbers to stay safe. So, you know, I think for a guy, you know, when you go in, Jesse, a guy like Jesse always has a target walking in. He's a big guy. He's athletic. He's attractive. You know, the girls are going to want to work with him and like him. The guys are going to want to work with him. Might be scared of him. So, 
they have a you know a big target they walk in it's like okay you you can't just look past them it's he's very you, you always pay attention to him because he has that personality and that look and everything that you know you're always going to notice him he can't just kind of hide and sit on a couch he's, he's not that kind of player so for you know for a player like that to go in guns blazing you're going to go out quick so i think he did a good job where he wasn't playing too too hard i just think he didn't play hard enough fast enough and but you know what we saw when it when he was in danger and the veto wasn't used that he's like, okay i have to play and and he did he started playing he was making really good sense he was really uh you know he was making the right um the right pitches and everything and I really liked that. I really liked how he, he handled himself this week. So it's about an hour before the eviction. And Jesse starts going into pure campaign mode, which is great. You know, the guy, he's like, I have to fight. He, I like the fact that he had no quit in him. I really, really like that. So he goes and locks himself in the red room with everyone. He, and, you know, he's holding the door shut. He's not letting Veronica in. He's like, guys, I told Hamza I was coming for you guys but I'm just telling him that really I want to take him out like we have the numbers we can do this you know and it's too bad that they had a little bit of doubt uh in their mind because I feel like he really he could have done something this season so um they go to the now they're sitting on the block they're getting ready to vote and I loved his last speech I just I, I liked everything he did this week I really did I, I think I think he did a good job and, you know, when he stood up, a lot of people say, you know, thank you this and thank you that. Because they know they're going out. People know they're going out. It's just that everyone's mind's made up. So, but instead, you know, he's like, you know what, guys, it's not too late. We can do this. You know, believe in me. I'm going after them. We have the numbers. If you can just pull this off this week, we are set. But if you don't, I will see you all next week and the week after and the week after. Which he's right, you know. He made a good point. And I really, really like the fact that he fought to the end. Now, here's the thing. The final speeches, I'm going to tell you firsthand, mean nothing. Nobody's going to switch their mind uh, in 15 seconds from his speech to them going in the door. It's not going to happen. It's a flawed system. It's a very, very, very flawed system. Uh, the way the final speeches, speeches should go, maybe not even like this. I'm, I'm just throwing an idea out there. First thing in the morning, you say your, you know, you sit down, everyone's on the couch, you say your final speech, then you get up and you do your thing because there's no time to talk. So these people go and they say their final speech and then it's like, okay, go vote. So there's no, you know, what if he did put sense into people's head and they're like, man, we should keep this guy. There's no time to talk amongst your people. So it's like, man, he's making sense, but I have to go in there and vote. Now I can't switch my vote because what if nobody else does? There's no time to talk. So I think the system's a little flawed. I think they need more time. Even if it's maybe do your final speeches, give them 10 minutes and then they go in and vote five minutes. I don't know, but to have, you know, instantly, as soon as he sits down, okay, go up and vote. There's literally no time to talk to anybody. And it's a flawed system. Either, it, you know, the, the, like I say, they're not, they don't do anything. The final speeches are pointless. They don't change anybody's mind. And that's why most of the time people are like, you know, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, hi, mom, whatever. Because they know they're done. No matter what they say, doesn't matter. And they just go out like that. So I do give him respect for doing that final speech. It was great. I just wish there was a better system in play where, you know, the, the, the other house guests can be like, yeah, you know what, he's right, guys. Like, let's just do this. Let's flip this. Uh, but they don't have the time. So that's a shame. So, you know, Jesse does go out 9-2, uh, to two, I believe the vote was. Veronica uh, throws a, a little vote out there that kind of stirs some trouble. And Derek was his other vote. Everyone else votes for um, Olivia. Or, sorry, um votes for um sorry jesse to stay jesse to go so i was in the crowd when it happened and every time the two votes that happened for jesse when derek voted to uh, eliminate olivia the crowd loved it and went crazy and same with veronica so they really wanted jesse to stay and and i did too uh you know i i think he would have been good for the show moving forward i think he finally had that fire under his ass to say guys i have to play and uh, it's a shame that he had to go so early uh, but yeah, so Veronica throws that vote and I think it's going to cause some trouble this year. You know, it's, I'll tell you something, when people do that, you have nothing in there to do, like you have nothing to do in the house. So when someone throws that, that little vote out, people are going to find out. They have nothing better to do than to fish for who did it. They have the next seven days, 24 hours a day to figure it out. And it's just like, that's all that's on people's mind. They know it's out there that, you know, it's no secret. And it's going to come out eventually and, and they're going to find out. So I think by throwing these votes here and there, you know, you're just caught. And especially when you lie about it after and you're so animate on how you didn't do it, I think it's bad. I think it's very, very bad for her game and it's probably going to put her in hot water this week. 
Uh, but who knows? I mean, it all depends on who wins HOH. Um, actually, I was there, and I do know who won HOH. Um, I'm not going to spoil it in here, because they did play the whole HOH competition um, in the audience, uh, for the audience to see. So I did see who won HOH. It's going to be an interesting week for sure. And uh, let's just see how that goes. All right, so I just want to get back to the whole Hamza being HOH, um, Will and Johnny doing all the work, and Hamza getting the credit. Um, I said it before, I, I really, really like Hamza. I think on a personal level, him and I are going to connect very, very well outside of the show. And anything I ever say in any of these videos is strictly on the game. I Listen, I am the first person to welcome everybody from the cast. I am not you know, into the drama. I don't care about that. I love meeting the new house guests. I'm a fan of the show too, so I'm excited to meet them. And actually, as a matter of fact, I, when I was in Toronto on Thursday, I was there from Thursday to Saturday, and uh, I did get to meet all of everybody that's been evicted this year, including Mikey. I was with Mikey, the um, one of the gate crashers, the male gate crasher that didn't get in. I was hanging out with him. He's a pretty nice guy, very decent guy. Uh, Rosina, Andrew, and Jesse. I got to hang out with all of them, and they're really great people, and I really, really like them. I we all get along. They fit in very well with everybody. Uh, they're doing great. So I just I just want to get that. I want to make it very, very, very clear that, uh, you know, once everything's said and done, I have, there is no hard feelings towards anybody at all. I'm just going by a game perspective. And just I know the editing side. And that's the thing is I want viewers and the people that don't know the behind the scenes stuff and what really goes on to see how this show is so edited that it literally changes what's going on. And they're completely off the mark most of the time and it's, it's it's a shame because again i'll say it's these people are tv the people putting the show together no tv they don't know big brother they know how to hold cameras properly the camera angles they know the production side of the show they know production side of the show they just don't know the big brother as a game and i feel they missed the mark when they show like instead of showing the strategical the strategic parts or the parts that build what's really going on in the show and what's building the real relationships that are moving people forward they they focus on just stuff that doesn't matter you know like realistically the things they show on the show half of it is just garbage and i'm sorry to say you know i don't like to ever crap on product production because i you know i don't bite the hand that feeds uh they're good to me i'm good to them but i just at the same time i want people to see the truth behind it all and it's a shame you know um I'm sure Hams is a great guy, but he deserved zero credit for this week. Johnny and Will deserved all of it this week, and they didn't get any of it. Johnny didn't have a single diary room session, and he controlled the week. It just goes to show how editing plays so heavily in a show. I'll tell you something, okay? And I get it, you know, I'm, I'm not an entertaining player and I don't care to entertain the crowd. I choose not to entertain the crowd. I choose to entertain the people in my house and focus on the game. And that that's the way I play. And a lot of other players play that way too. The people that are in there for the right reason will play to the players and not to Canada. And that's just the way it is. If you're playing to entertain Canada, you're not playing in the game and your mind's not in the game. So um, someone like Hamza, he wants that entertainment value. He wants to be the guy uh, entertaining the crowd and he probably wants that after the show uh, hype and all that stuff, which is fine if that's what you're there for, but you're not going to win the show, I'll tell you right now, because the moves that you make and the things that you do, they're just going to drive people nuts in the house. That's just the way it is. But it's a shame when he's getting all this credit. And I, I can see right through it when he's doing the diary room stuff and he's talking all hard in there. And, and I, I've been in that situation. I know what he's doing and I see straight through it. It's just a shame that, you know, the people that deserve the credit aren't getting it. Um, and that's that. All right, guys. So there's my recap of the week. Um, there was a lot going on. A lot of things that the viewers didn't get to see. But all in all, I thought it was a really good episode. Thursday night's episode was really good. And, uh, you know, I'm really starting to like the season. And, you know, uh, if you like our videos, I'm going to be doing this every single week. I've already, this is my third one. I'll be making them every single week. If this is something you like, hit that sub button, hit that like button. I do plan on doing more giveaways. Uh, I don't know. I, I might throw out a veto chip or something. Who knows? Uh, I did give my bag, uh, my bag away, the one that I brought into the house. Um, you know what? I have a few more things I'm willing to part with. So who knows? So anyway, just uh, stay tuned. Hit that sub button, hit that like button, show some support. If you have any questions or you have any comments, you want to add to this, leave a leave a comment below. You know, I, I will answer to each and every single one of you. And, uh, you know, let's have some fun with it. So thanks again for stopping by and watching the video. And uh, again, just let me know what you think. Have a good one, guys. Until next week.